Hi, I'm Alex Golds, and I'll present joint work with Professor Joab Schechner on image compression optimized for 3D reconstruction by utilizing deep neural networks. Consider 3D reconstruction for multiple view images, which also need to be compressed beforehand. We propose joint learning of these two tasks. We'll show that our approach improves 3D reconstruction versus image compression rate as compared to when compression is done using JPEG 2000. We build on a previous work which proposed an RNN for 3D reconstruction. The images are encoded by a CNN, then a 3D grid of special LSTM elements is applied. Each such element reconstructs a part of the 3D space. Finally, a decoder produces a 3D occupancy map. The loss function is a voxel-wise cross-entropy loss. Another work that we build on proposed RNN-based image compression. The residual image is iteratively encoded, binarized, and then decoded back. The number of iterations controls the compression rate. The loss is a weighted L1 over the residual in every iteration. Now I'll present our three proposed joint architectures. The first one we call sequential is a concatenation of the previously shown networks. The input to the 3D reconstruction are decompressed images. This approach obtains good 3D reconstruction and decompressed image quality, but is not very efficient. A more efficient architecture is the direct one. Here, the 3D reconstruction encoder is removed, and the 3D LSTMs are fed directly by the binarized, by the binarized feature vectors. This is faster, but results in inferior decompressed image quality. The loss for the sequential and direct models is simply the compression loss for all viewpoint images until the last, and for the last one, we add the 3D loss as well. The last architecture is the implicit one. It is simply a 3D reconstruction network augmented by a binarizer. We train it using the 3D loss only, meaning it simply learns to reconstruct 3D. Compression occurs implicitly due to the binarizer. This model performs really well and is also very fast. However, it doesn't perform image decompression and the separate model needs to be trained per compression rate. Here's the 3D reconstruction mean IOU versus compression rate on ShapeNet rendered multi-view object database. In blue is the performance when JPEG 2000 was used for image compression. We see that all our networks outperform JPEG 2000 at high compression rates. The direct model is inferior at, at lower compression rates, and the implicit model is best overall. Here's an example of four decompressed images at high compression rate. We can see that JPEG 2000 has visibly lower image quality compared to both sequential and direct models. Here's a 3D reconstruction from five views for all methods, including the implicit model. All methods recover the 3D structure reasonably well. In this particular case, the sequential model suffers, suffers from some artifacts in the bottom right object. To summarize, we proposed three architectures for joint image compression and 3D reconstruction. Trade-offs exist between 3D reconstruction performance, image decompression quality, and runtime. Near optimal 3D reconstruction is obtained at a wide range of compression rates. The highest compression rates are reached by the implicit model, which is also most efficient in terms of runtime. Thank you.